Hey guys, it's Landon Blake from Redefine Horizons. It's Sunday night. This is the last video I'm going to do for our CAD Management Weekly blog about Brick's CAD tonight because I got to go start the barbecue. Or I'm going to be in trouble with my wife. Okay, but what I wanted to do is just show you guys how you could how you could set some of your um, selection settings. Okay, so I've got Brick's CAD open here. Uh, we're going to go to the settings. We're actually going to go to the settings uh, dialog here, and then I'm going to just show you where to, where to find this. So if you come in here, it's under program options, and then you want to go down. There's a there's a section here just for selection, so we want to open that. I'm just going to walk you through some of these settings, okay? So the pick add setting right here, uh, what that does is that controls. Um, there's a couple options there, so you can have it when you when you select an additional item, it can be added to the selection set, or it can start a new selection set. Okay, so if you uncheck that, um, every time you select something, it's going to get rid of the previous selection. Okay, so I'll just show you an example of that. Let's just do, let's draw two lines. All right, and uh, let me go back into settings. For some reason, I have my snap is way too big from my... <laughs> my previous, <laughs> my previous uh, uh, video my, has my snaps way too big. Ah! Let's see. I can't remember where it's at. Let me do it this way. I've got it. Oh, let's see. It's under here. All right. I want this to be 10. That's way too big. All right. Okay. So... <clears throat> You guys can see now I've selected that line, but when I go to select this other line, it deselects, so the selection toggles. Right now, some guys like working that way, or gals. I don't. That drives me crazy. Okay, so uh, where you want to control that, go back to program options. Um, let's see, selection. Okay, and so we're gonna. I'm gonna check this. I want to add selected entities to the current selection set. Okay, so now I select the first one. When I go to add the second one, it it gets added to the set and if I want to take one out I just hold the shift key down and it, and it comes out so that's the way I like to work okay so that's that pick add variable um, so this is let's open this up a little bit so we can see this draw selection window if mouse is not over any entity when clicked that's what I like to do draw selection window if mouse is clicked over an entity and dragged I also like that so that's just That'll, that'll allow you to drag windows even if you're hovering over entities, okay? Um, I like to draw select uh, the selection window using two points. That's fine. Um, so the, on this one, you can, uh, with this command, you can uh, select, issue a command and then select the entities or select the entities and then issue a command, okay? Um, as a general rule, I like to issue the command first and then select the entities. Let's see, pick style. Let's see if there's anything in there. I don't think we got to worry about any of that. Okay, now this is really cool. On your options for select similar, um, it, you can you can the more of these boxes you check, the more picky your select similar command is going to get, right? So you can actually tell, hey, if I have an object that's the same type and on the same layer but with a different color, if I check this, it's not going to select the objects if they have a different. It's not going to select additional objects if it has a different color than the than the uh, than the starting object, even if they're on the same layer and have the same type. Okay, so I like the defaults here, just name and layer, but that's kind of cool. I wanted to show you guys that. Okay, all right. Then down here, you can control the um, the opacity and the color of your selection area. Okay. Um, so you can change those colors. I've never done that, uh, but you can certainly do it if you want. So just to give you an idea, so right now my crossing window is uh, color 91. So you can see that's the color showing up there. Okay, so if we change that, just to show you guys what it's like, let's just change it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and set it to uh, color 30. Just so we can see. So now you can see it's got that different color. Okay, so you control you can control the color of your selection windows there. Okay, and then on your your selection preview, um, this will this will let you uh, control how the the preview of the selected entities is shown. Um, and the main thing is is right here. 
uh, you can choose um, you can do dashed lines, thickened lines, or dashed and dashed and thickened lines. Um, so let me just well, I'll show you I'll show you that in a in a second. I'll show you what that means. Okay, there's uh, some settings here that you can use uh, to control what shows up in your preview. I'm going to go ahead and exclude entities and XRFs. I don't need those. Okay. I'm not worried about any of the 3D settings for the type of work I do. Okay, and th this just controls, you know, there's a there's a delay um, on your preview, your selection preview. I'm not going to mess with any of that. I think that's about all I wanted. So let me show you the, the difference here between dashed lines, thickened lines, or dashed and thickened lines. So with the, the default here is dashed and thickened lines. Okay. Oh, I didn't like that I had that dialog open still, sorry. Okay, so you can see when I select the lines, they get they get a little bit thicker and dashed. Okay, so I'm gonna turn off the dash. So I'm gonna say just thicken the lines, okay. And so when I do that now, nope didn't work. Let me try it again. Yeah, so for some reason that's not working. That's interesting. I'll have to figure out why that is. All right, there was one other thing I wanted to just check. So if we go up here into, dra into drafting, I saw another set for selection. Sorry, under drawing. And drafting, drawing, drafting, let's see, entity selection. Okay, so this controls the size of your pick box. Okay, so that's the little square that comes up when you go to select. Um, and so uh, it, the default's four, and I actually, I, I don't mind working with that a little bigger, so let's set it to eight. So now you can see uh, when I go, for example, if I run the move command, my box is a little bigger there, right? So it's it's twice as big as the default now because I set it to eight instead of four. Okay, so those are just some uh, some ways you can tr you can control the selection settings in BricsCAD. Hopefully, you guys will, will find that helpful. Uh, it was a short video, but thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget if you're on YouTube, click subscribe so you can catch our additional videos. We'll do some more BricsCAD videos, and we're gonna do some Carlson survey videos too. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. All right, guys, I actually found one other selection setting that I, that I couldn't find that I wanted to show you. So right now I've got this um, I've got this set now. Instead of doing the dash line, it actually shows the line in a different color, which I actually like better. So uh, let me show you guys how to find that and set that. So if you go into settings, okay, it's actually under program options display. Okay, and then um, scroll down here, it's towards the bottom. Okay, so right here you have your selection highlights dial. Okay, so the default is to use the line stipple. Okay, but I wanna say uh, use a different color for highlight. Actually, I want this one, use a different color and thicken line for highlight. Okay, and then I'm gonna set my color. I'm gonna set that to, uh, let's just do a bright green. Okay, so let's uh, let's see how that looks. So now when I select a line, it gets selected and goes to a bright green, okay? Except I actually, that bright green is horrendous. So I'm gonna try, uh, let's try this uh, 90, let's try 95. See if I like that a little better. Yeah, I do like that a little better. Okay, so I like, I just like that's easier for me to see I'm getting old, you know? So this is easier to see than the little dashed line. It, it thickens up with a different color. So I just wanted to show you guys that one additional setting. That's under the settings, under program options display is where you set that.